by this recent the Spirit of God is breaking the walls around the church and the church without walls is rising. The church is the body of the Lord Jesus Christ and it is unwalled. Closure of church buildings has forced us to develop into a fluid church with a wider reach. We have connected to the body of believers worldwide with relative ease through social media. In this way, the universal body of Jesus Christ is beautifully coming into oneness and getting stronger. God wants us to redefine church. We have become too accustomed to the concept of a local church that meets within four walls and runs pretty much as a members club. We are too accustomed to the denominational church. Preachers tend to hold on to doctrines they have learned in their denominational Bible schools instead of upholding the whole counsel of God as seen in scripture. God is breaking the old church order that we have become accustomed to over many years, an order that we call church. Yet some of our practices have locked the Holy Spirit out Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Jesus is knocking at the door of his church so that he can be allowed to come in. The church without walls is the bride of Christ. She is not building based. She is not denominational. The bride is universal. She is the new wineskin mentioned in Luke chapter 5 verse 37 that can contain new wine. No one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skin. The new wine does not burst the bride because she has capacity to expand. By this reset, God is breaking the old wineskins because they cannot contain the new wine that he wants to pour into his bride. The message God is giving is too heavily anointed to be contained in an old wineskin. If you cannot expand, it will destroy you. By this reset, God is breaking every order and system that originates in, in man but denies the power of the Holy Spirit to operate. These may be good in our understanding, but some of them are born out of the spirit of the Antichrist. We must break old patterns and receive heavenly patterns by which to function correctly as a bride of Jesus Christ who has made herself ready. God is breaking in order to reset. He is breaking in order to empower. The churches that break out of the old mold, he will remold. He will reshape and use them in new ways never before seen in this world. Right now there is a formation of an invisible move of God. The Spirit of God is searching for a type of person who will be relevant to his move in this period. Just as he found those in the upper room on that day of Pentecost, may he find you. As Paul said, the gospel is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes. God's desire to have the gospel spread with power has not changed Yet despite all the technology that we have today, we have hardly reached half the population of our world. Our focus has largely been on the display of beautiful church buildings with the latest technology and the, lit and the largest numbers, but we have lacked the demonstration of God's power. Unlike Apostle Peter, who could say, silver or gold have I none, but in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Today we do have silver and gold, but we cannot say in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Perhaps God shut the doors of the church through lockdowns in this pandemic. We can turn our focus from structures back to him.